Hey as all faces, it's Annie again. Today I am here showing you step by step how to get this look. Um, I spent a lot of time on bronzer. I spent a lot of time on lashes. So you'll see my kind of step by step process to look put together, um, pretty, and polished and something else that starts with a P and I can't think of a word. But anyways, it's a bronzy eye, a hot pink lip. I'm using the Smashbox Heat Wave palette. So if you'd like to see how to get this look, these lashes, this bronzy cheek, this hot pink mouth, keep watching. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start off with the Bobbi Brown Corrector. This is in Light Peach. And I'm going to put that right underneath my eyes. I like to do this first because it's going to correct the dark circles. And then um, it's not going to interfere with any of the other makeup that I put on top. So I just leave it like that. I don't even blend it in all the way. Just kind of leave it. Let it set a little bit. Then I'm going to take um, my Trish McAvoy BB Cream. I spoke about this in my favorites video. If you didn't watch that, I will um, put the link in the down bar. Just put a little bit on my hand, then I'm going to put some on my flat top kabuki and kind of dab it all over. I love this stuff because it does provide coverage, but it doesn't have so much pigment that it looks like you're wearing a crap ton of makeup on your skin. And then I take it up underneath my eyes and kind of blend everything together. Bring it down the neck a little bit. Okay, so let that kind of settle a little bit. Then I have been trying out the Bare Minerals Primetime Eyelid Primer. This is just a little sample. Um, I, put, I drop it on the ground. Put a little bit on my fingers, dab them together, and just work quick style. I'm going to make sure that I'm recording. Yep. Whoa, I look really white. <laughs> okay. We'll fix that. Okay. So there's that. Then I'm going to take um, my NARS Radiant, Radiant Cream Concealer. Uh, the jury's still out on this one with me. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to put it like that. This one I got um, in the color, oh my word, Honey, Light 3. Uh, it has that peachy undertone, so again, I'm using it to help cancel out any dark circles. Oh, I don't want to use that brush. This one. Okay. I'm just taking like a fluffy brush, kind of pushing it in and blending it out. I have found that this doesn't really like settle into any creases under the eyes or anything like that. I just, I don't, I wouldn't use it by itself. I don't feel like it has enough coverage for me, but it's a really nice feeling concealer. I do feel like you need to set it though. So we push that in a little bit on the inner corner and we're done. Okay, then I'm taking um, my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is, is the Luminous Liquid Bronzer. It looks like this. I love this stuff and I'll show you why. I don't use a lot of it. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in my hand like that. I have a hair chilling. Then I'm using, this is the Real Techniques, hmm, I don't know what brush this is, like a stippling brush type of little doohickey. I'm going to get some on there. I'm going right along my cheekbones, just like that. Right along the cheekbones. I want some 
down my nose, I went a little bit by my hairline here. I'm pushing it in and dabbing it because I want it to give me that nice glow, a little on the chin, whatever left over. And then I'm pushing it in and moving. I love the color that this gives. It's very warm and um, natural at the same time. It doesn't look like red and all crazy. Bring it down the neck a little bit. I am going to use a powder bronzer too, so then I'll get like my chest area and everything. Oh, my hair is out of control. It has been like 95 degrees here. I live in California. And um, at that point, you don't wear your hair down. You know what I'm saying, ladies with long hair? Okay, what's next? Let's use the Heat Wave palette. Now, I've only tried this out a few times. I'm not quite sure I'm going to use the brush. It comes with the brush. Okay, let me just go ahead and show you. It comes with a brush like this. This is a little shader brush. This is like um, a smudger brush, which is fine, but I'm not going to use that brush. Um, okay, so here's the palette. And I'm going to use, let's see here. Let's use this one first and a little bit of this one. So, let me show you what I'm going to do. You're going to get a big glimpse of my kitchen here. Okay, so we're going with this bronzy color, like kind of a coppery color. We're going to do that all over the lid. Tap off because these are pretty powdery. And um, I did my eyes the other day with this, and it had a lot of fallout, so... Don't forget to um, tap your brush off. Get rid of that excess. Just packing it all over. Then I'm going to take um, a 217 brush and I'm just going to kind of blend out the edges here. So it looks like that. I'm going to go back in with the flat shader brush and then we're going to hit this one here. Tap off the excess. We're going to go right in the inner quarter of the lid. Again, take the flat, um, the fluffy brush, blend it all together. Okay, then I'm going to take, um, this is a MAC 224, and we're going to go in with this kind of medium brown color. I hope you can see that, this one right here. And we're going right into the crease. I like that this palette has like the side of the warm colors and then a side with more cool colors. I'm not really used to wearing colors that are this warm, like what I'm doing right now. So, just a good little introduction. So, you have that in the crease. Again, taking the 217, I'm kind of going in circular motions. I'm going to just blend that out. Before I go any further, I do want to do more of a matte highlighty color, and they don't really have one in this palette, so let me see. I'm going to use my Naked Basics palette, and I always mix um, Foxy and WOS. Anybody know what that one stands for? No idea. Okay. Same brush. Right underneath. I don't want any more shimmer. So there's that. Then I'm going to go back into that palette 
And I'm going to take this color, which is more of the dark brown color, use the same 217 brush, I'm going to dip it in there, really tap off the excess, and then I'm going to hold my eye and go right in the outer corner in circular motions and bring it up into the crease a little bit. I just want to give a little bit of definition and not overdo it. <clears throat> So, what can we talk about? Let's see. Um, are you guys watching TV? Do you guys watch TV? I can't live without Game of Thrones. Okay, obsessed. Um, I'm really into watching Bates Motel. I watch all the effed up shows. Um, Bates Motel, Hannibal, excellent show. Oh, the writers of that are pure geniuses. Um... What else? Of course, Real Housewives of OC. Can't live without that show. Um, I don't really go to the movies any much. Anymore. <laughs> anymore. Too much. Um, we have an Apple TV, so if we want to watch movies, we usually watch it on that. Um, takes a lot to blend, but this brush is totally worth it. You know, when I'm at work, there are a few things that are really, I push in the department. One is a 217 brush, for sure. Okay, then for just like a little bit of, um, a little pop of color, I'm going to use this. I just um, bought this. I don't know if it's limited edition. This is Mystery. Um, it's a Cold Power Eye Pencil from MAC, but it's like a dark green color. Let me see if I can actually show ya. Let me make sure we're still filming here. Okay, can you see this? It doesn't really read like a bright, bright green, but I just want it for something a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and line the lower lash line. I'm going to turn my... There we go. Now part of the reason I haven't been making videos is because, number one, my camera was gimp, and yet I'm still using it, so obviously it's um, doing something right. Um, but it's the program I have on my computer for cutting videos, because I had gotten a new laptop, and so I had to get this new program, and it's crap. I, it's so hard to use. So that's why I'm not even, like, editing this video. It's basically going to be from the camera to my computer to YouTube, and that's just the way it's going to be. Because it's so hard to cut. It's so hard to understand. Obviously, I haven't taken the time to understand it. It's my fault. But it's just the other one was, like, you know, editing for dummies. I loved it. It was easy. This one, not so much. It's, like, very extensive, and, you know, I'm not trying to be Steven Spielberg here trying to do a YouTube video, and, um, yeah. Okay, so there's the green. I'm going to go ahead and align the upper lash line, too, with it, just so it's more uniform. Are you shaking? I just hit the table. Okay, so there's that. 
Now, I'm gonna kind of show you how to get, um, how to maximize your lashes, like seriously. So, I am using, this is the Kevin O'Quan um, eyelash curler. So, I have mascara on it, so let me go ahead and uh, wipe some of that off. So, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Hold it, two, one, release and hold, three, two, one, release, next side, three, two, one, release, do it again, three, two, one, release, okay. Then I'm putting on the Dior Lash Maximizer. I did another video with this, which is, this is amazing. So, put a little bit of this on. It's a lot right there. Just want to get a thin coat. It's just going to give the mascara something more to cling to. So there's that. While that is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and line my inner waterline. Where's my sharpener? This is the Rimmel Scandalize um, eyeliner. I mentioned it in my favorite video, which will be linked below. I love this. Okay, there's that. So, again, while that is um, drying, let's go ahead and do the brows. So, this is the MAC Brow Pencil in, what did I get? Deep Brunette. So, I don't do much with my brows, to be honest with you. So, I'm just going to take it and fill in just a little bit here. So I fill in and then bring it up. And then a little here. Okay. This is the side that really needs help. Soften it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, what's next? Let's do a little bit of bronzer. So I have MAC bronzing powder. This is in Solar Riche. So it looks like that. I am going to use, um, this is a big Chanel brush. This is the number six brush. It's the older one. A little bit scratchy, but what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go right over where I have already put the bronze goddess. I mean, yeah, that's what I did. Like, what did I do? Now when I go up here, I kind of squeeze it like this. Just get right into the hairline. A little bit down the nose. A little bit on the chin. And then I'm gonna really get some on there. And we're gonna go just to kind of make everything coincide. Okay, now I want to do blush. So, I'm going to use, dude, all my blushes are like limited edition. All right, well, that's how it's gonna have to be. Okay, this is the MAC. This is from their Hey Sailor collection. This is called Fleet Fast. And I'm using a MAC 129 Special Edition brush, one of their short ones. It's like a powder brush. But I love this for blush, and I'm going to show you why. So you get your blush on there like this, tap off the excess, and then we're going to smile, and we're going to just place. Just like this. Kind of let the brush do the work for you. Instead of brushing all the product off, pat it in. Mm -hmm. I love 
love this color. Mm, so pretty. Okay, then I'm going to take a highlighter. This is the Illuminator from Laura Mercier. This was limited edition, you can't get it anymore. It's very similar to one of the Dior ones, Amber Diamonds or something like that. And again, just going, patting in, give you that nice sheen. Then, what am I going to do next? I'm going to take some powder. This is um, Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in, oh my god, it's so old, I can't even read it, medium, I think. Seriously hit pan on that bad boy. Use the same brush. I'm just going to go right here because I really don't want that shiny. And along the sides right here, I'm going to do a little bit underneath the eyes. A little bit on the chin. Okay, there's that. Now, let's line the lips. I am using Nude Pink from NYX. And a little bit of balm on there. But, um, okay, so we're going to line them up real quick. Easy peasy. And now we're using um, Shocking Coral, which is number 870. This is Maybelline. Is it a, one of the color whispers? I don't know. Looks like this. a little bit of a pop with the lipstick. Okay, now for lashes. Lashes, lashes. They all fall down. Okay. Here it is. Alright, this is the Jordana Best, Best Lash Extreme Mascara. Love this stuff. It's like $3.99 at uh, Walgreens. I have Bent the Wand like that and you'll see why. I hope you can see me when I do this. I may have not uh, put enough planning into the filming of this video. But can you see this? I love this mascara because it does not flake on me. Everything tends to flake or travel or not be my friend toward the end of the day. See, one side, the other. This mascara is amazing! Okay, so as a final touch, I'm going to take that um, 217 brush and brush away any mascara that may have traveled.
Okay. So there you have it, doll faces. Here's kind of a bronzy eye with a hot pink lip. Um, suitable for work, going out, happy hour, shopping. Just um, something you can wear every day and look polished, put together, and this was the longest video ever. So thanks for sitting through it. Uh, in the comments below, tell me your favorite TV shows right now. Also, tell me um, your favorite TV show of all time. Something that you've watched every single episode and would recommend to me because I'm a big fan of Netflix, DVDs, Apple TV. Uh, yeah, I love TV. So, uh, I hope you like this Lift Off Aces and I will see you soon. Bye.